Love Island is back. Yes, I know I'm late. I was busy getting married, so I have missed these videos. But this is the first time I am seeing the contestants of this year's Love Island. I do this every time that there's Love Island. And let's be honest, it's always the same. We're going to hear the certain like... I'm fit. I'm flirty. I'm not afraid to step on anyone's toes. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's boyfriend material. I'm a cheeky chap. That kind of stuff. It's always the same phrases. And I'm pretty certain they choose clones of the previous people as well. The cast is always the exact same. So today we're going through all of the contestants. I'm sorry, this has already started this series. There's probably already a couple new people in here, but I haven't seen them. So I'm going to judge whether I'm going to jump back into watching it based on this. First up, we have... Ruchi. Ruchi? Ruchi. Firstly, those shoes are too big for you. Look at the real estate at the front of those shoes. My name's Ruchi. I'm 24. Hey, Ruchi. I'm from Sutton and I'm a beautician. We have a group chat and it's called Ruchi is single. <laughs> so it sounds like you're being bullied. I'm going to be honest. Me and my girls are like FBI's. Like we'll find out things like We're like, like FBI's. <laughs> it's, it is the FBI. You're like FBI agents. I want to grow old with them and like, you know, have kids and grandkids and a dog <laughs> and a cat. <laughs> I am hoping to find okay. that in the villa. I mean, that is the point. That was a very inoffensive one. I feel like she said a little bit weirdness when she was saying that she was going to basically stalk you if she likes you. But apart from that, I feel, I feel like, you know what? Ruchi came off all right. That does worry me because normally I feel like one or two of them Come across all right, which means we're in for a lot more rubbish. We have George. Feel this, boyfriend material. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's boyfriend material. Nailed it. Ne I literally said that phrase. That surely does not work with any... Surely every single person in the world has heard that line and said, that's, that's weird, you'll stop. I can tailor my chat depending on the situation. So if I'm chatting some a little bit older, 40s, 50s, I can start talking about bingo. But wherever I'm talking to someone sort of 20, 22, 23, I can talk about TikTok. What is this man going for? Who, who, what kind of person is he trying to find love with? 20 year olds only talk about TikTok and 50, 50 60 year olds only talk about bingo. I haven't watched any of the series, but I feel like he's going to be annoying. The way that people would describe me is cheeky chappy. I'm a cheeky chap. He said two of them. Cheeky chappy and boyfriend material. Gift of the gab was one of the ones I should have said as well. I'm just looking forward to be able to meet the girl of my dreams and just start cracking on. Oh, cracking on. Ugh. There's like so many trigger phrases that I hit. Oh, okay. It's Jess's turn. Again, real estate. This is how women's shoes work. I reckon she's a dancer. It's got inward toes. Hi everyone. My name's Jess. I'm 22 and I'm an aesthetics practitioner from London. Yeah, well, I was wrong. I love a smooch. I'm definitely a smoocher. Could smooch all night. I love Someone a smooch. Someone who's not a good kisser, that is just not for me. Who is Who is that for? Who is a bad kisser for? Like, no one is going to go, I love a bad kisser. When someone just, when they miss your mouth and they hit you in the eye with their tongue. Ah. Oh. Like a sloth, not a lizard. You know what they say? Like... <laughs> No, no one does. I want to be that young MILF, you know, the one that takes their kids to school in the Range Rover. I want to be one of them mums. What aspirations that is. I want to be a MILF. I mean, to be fair, a lot of people probably do, but it's some aspiration. <laughs> Mehdi, I got faith in him. He's going to bring us back to normality. Come on. I was born and raised in Bordeaux, in France, the city of wine. Oh, he's going to fuck. He's French. Come on, please, please don't be, don't, don't say anything weird. Don't say anything like, oh, I, I kissed my mother on the lips. I think girls love my je ne sais quoi. I think that's how I win them over. I always get what I want. <laughs> He's doing all right. He's a little bit I'm cocky, so but... I'm excited to be in the villa. He has to be. I could bring fire and make girls fall in love with me. Yeah, he's come out all right. He's the best so far. He didn't say anything wrong. He was a little bit cocky, but I felt like you have to be on these shows. Otherwise, you, you're not going in. He's done all right. All right, Mehdi. Top of the pile. We can only go down from there. Catherine. Oh, no. Please, please, please. So, I've basically been single for ever. It's quite bad. That's all right. All I do is situationships. That's less all right. When I flirt, I just have to give people the eyes. Open my mouth, say a few words. That's how flirting works, really. You can't, you can't do much else. And look at them and talk to them. That's how, that's how it works. I will be funny. I'll be myself. You love me. You know what? I feel like they're toning down this year's contestants. They're not letting them say anything too stupid. Catherine and Media, the two so far that actually could live a normal life. They seem like they know how to interact with people. Mitchell, there's got to be an Essex geezer in here at some point. My name is Mitchell. I'm 26 from Sheffield and I'm a gas engineer. Boo! Boo, Sheffield! Boo! A lot of people think I'm arrogant, but I think when they get to know me, they realise I'm actually a nice guy at heart. I just seem arrogant. I feel like as much as I believe him, 
with you know like oh I seem arrogant but I'm actually you know I'm into relationship I'm not I'm not arrogant blah blah blah. You're on Love Island like you have to go in there and if you're nice you're gonna get stuck with a girl on day one and that's it you're not gonna be able to leave her else the public are gonna vote you out. Rather than being a gentleman I'm being brought properly to just treat women right. He Got seems like a nice guy. Love. I'm going for a girl and no one's taking her off me. Nice guy. Seems all right. Uh, he's from Sheffield though, so that's a that's a minus four. I think he'll do all right. Hey, we're about half and half of like Love Island people and normal people so far. Molly. There's always a Molly. I'm 21 years old from sunny Doncaster. Doncaster? Why are they going up north for all of these? I'm a musical theatre performer and a social media creator. Uh, social media creator. At least she didn't say influencer. What does a social media creator mean? Just say, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a TikToker. Just say what it is. And sing. Ah! Oh my goodness, that was horrible. That was. I live on a farm with my mum, my dad, my grandma, my granddad. Take a breath. My uncle, my cousin, blink. My husband, baby, and chicken. Oh my god, can we count how long she doesn't blink for? On a farm with my mum, my dad, my grandma, my granddad, my auntie, my uncle, my cousin, cousin's husband, baby, and chicken, cockaletta. She blinked twice in that whole section. I think my life is a bit of a fairy tale. I am definitely ready to meet my prince charming. Hey, again, I'm not gonna lie. As much as I'm saying, oh, this this series actually seems like normal people. It's not making me watch it. I want to be so angry with the people I'm looking at that I have to watch them implode. Tyreek, come on. We need someone else to step up and make the show interesting. Say something super arrogant. I'm 24 and I'm a semi-pro footballer from Essex. Does, there's the Essex guy. I said there had to be an Essex geezer. Semi-pro footballer. What does that mean? I don't want to be mean, but when Toby went on this, the public mocked the semi-pro footballerness. Where does he play? Who does, you know what? Played for Luz FC, the Isthmian League Premier Division. Huh? Okay, so you have, you have this, then you have the Vanaram, and then you have this. Okay, so they're not far. That's quite high for a semi. Okay, we'll take that. You could say I'm a player on and off the pitch, you know? But of course you are. To me, you know? If he makes any more football references in terms of his dating life, we're not watching the end. I have a lightning bolt tattoo on my left ear. In my right one, I can't hear it. I was born deaf in it. You know, oh. the lightning bolt sort of like power for my left one, you know, the one that works. You know, talk, don't talk to me, talk to the bolt sort of thing. Oh. The weirdest ick I've had on a girl was quite out of order, but one time I was on a date and the girl fell down the stairs. And I just couldn't look at her the same ever since, man. Right, so while, while she's fallen and maybe injured herself horrifically, you've thought, not a bit of me, see you later. He seemed all right, and then he said that. I'm going to Love Island to look for my first girlfriend and hopefully my last girlfriend. Jeez. Again, that was kind of boring. These are really dry. At least he had a little story in there. No one else has added anything other than, you know, oh, I want to find someone. At least he had the, the, the ick story, which maybe he shouldn't have. But we have our final girl, Ella. 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 Hey. Hey. I'm Ella, I'm 23, and I'm a model from Glasgow. That wasn't English, Scottish. That's not, that's, they don't speak English up there. You know when people ask like, what's your love language? Mine is literally all of them. I just love it when guys like sell me a dream. Then she's gonna say, why am I single? You love it when guys sell you a dream. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got one. I just wanna find a good guy that just treats me like the queen I am. Or just tells you that he treats you like the queen you are. I'm so excited to get in the Love Island villa, you know, meet some new talent, hopefully some oh, above six foot guys that are is, gonna treat me right. Talent is such a horrible word. I hate when people describe people as talent. It's just so, uh, ugh. That's my it. I don't believe in it. It's sad to say that she was one of the more entertaining ones. I will not be watching this series. I, I have one person left, Andre. Maybe at this point, maybe, I will watch two or three days before Casa Amor. That is it. I'll watch those couple episodes just so I know who's who and who's with who. Then I'll watch the recoupling and then no more. My name is Andrea. I'm 21 years old. Okay. Spicy name. From Birmingham. Less spicy from Birmingham. Portuguese is my first language. The amount of girls that have made fall in love with me just by speaking Portuguese to them. Eu adoro rub. I love bom bom. See? So we've got a French Don and a... Birmingham Portuguese Don who loves bum bum. Any toes that I've got to step on? Sorry, but I'm gonna have to tread on. There we go. Oh boy. That's the I get what I want. Describing me as fun is an understatement. I'm gonna be the life and the center of the attention. I am so, so excited to meet my wife in the villa. Dry, 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 dry. This series, I'm sorry. I'm not watching it. Out of every year they've introduced everyone, this might have to be 
the worst lineup. None of these have got you interested. And I've just been sent a statistic as well. Obviously, the series has started. Love Island had 830,000 viewers last night, which sounds mad, but that's half a million down on the winter series and almost 1.5 million on last summer. They need to change something up. Hit us up. We'll come up with a bunch of things. The series is dying out. Let me know in the comments down below if any of you are watching it. Is it worth it? Because I haven't seen anything. So let me know in the comments and... If it is, if everyone says, oh my God, this series is actually amazing, I'll watch it. But I don't think that's going to happen. Thank you guys for watching and peace.